So how do you like my new car? Hey guys, Tanner here. I know it's been a while since my last upload and I'm sorry for that, but I got a brand new camera and a brand new car, so I figured I'd show it off. So let me take you on a tour of my brand new 1993 Chrysler New Yorker 5th Avenue. Come check it out. So as I show off this car, I'm going to tell you the story of how I got it. This car has been in my family since 1993 when my great uncle bought it right off the lot. And he only drove it on Sunday and fair weather days. And so when he passed away in 2000, the car only had 18,000 miles on it. When my cousin inherited the car, she didn't drive it a lot due to medical conditions. And in, in her time having the car, it only accumulated 53,000 miles total. And when she inherited the car, it had to sit outside and endure the weather, which is why you see various blemishes and marks on the car. This is from being exposed to the sunlight and the rain and all other elements of weather in the time it sat outside. So it has this blemishes on the hood, has blemishes on the top, the vinyl here, is also weathered and looks like it could use some tender love and care as well as the trunk. This was all due to being exposed to weather. I had plans to refurbish and repaint the car and also as she drove it some of the skirting like there must have been a fender bender down here and there's a little dent there in the skirting. I do plan on getting these redone as well I got this car for free. I always wanted this car since I, before I could even drive. And I was set to inherit another car completely, but due to various issues with the engine of that car, I could not fix it. It was going to be way more than I could afford. And so I ended up having to scrap it, and I only got $500 for that car. When I was offered this one, originally the asking price was 1000 but they said since I was family that they would lower the price down and they asked me about 500 and I was like well that's perfect I just had to scrap this other car so I figured it was kinda like you know one of those moments where something happened for a reason it did it definitely that's exactly what happened but then it got even crazier because as I accepted the 500 they're like how about 400 you could put a hundred dollars into the car and I was like I'll do that $400 for this car. I've always wanted this car for 53,000 miles on this thing. You know, I was willing to do whatever. I, you know, I was willing to pay the thousand for it. But then they lowered it to 500 and then 400. And then I got a call a week before they sold it to me and said that they would sell it to me for $200. That's crazy. And I told my parents about this. And on the day that I went to buy this car, they gave me a $200 check. So I got this car for free. That's amazing. You know, it does need some tender love and care. I was able to get the tires replaced. These are brand new tires. It has the really cool Chrysler rims still, so that's really awesome. Um, that was all it needed, those tires and these windshield wipers were the only things that needed to pass the inspection in Pennsylvania here. So I got the inspection stickers. This car runs fantastic. It sounds like a brand new car. Um, so the exterior is basically all this that I showed you, but it also has this really cool thing in the front here. These lights, actually when this is working, this is a little flap that comes up and it covers these lights when the lights aren't on and when the lights are on it goes down and the lights are exposed but right now they're not working and I plan on getting that fixed and this thing also has a really cool Chrysler hood ornament 
which you don't have a lot of hood ornaments anymore on cars, so this is really cool. And aside from all that, that is the cool exterior of this car. Let me show you the interior. Come on with me as we go inside. The door sticks too. is the interior of my luxury 1993 Chrysler New Yorker 5th Avenue. As you can see, the dashboard has this really nice faux wood type uh, decoration around all like the radio, the air conditioner, and the speedometer and dish dashboard stuff. We have these really cool uh, knobs and buttons on my driver's side control thing. This thing actually controls my chair, my seat. I can raise it up, I can raise it down, up, down, front, back, and then these ones push me like kind of backwards, or I can go forward, and this pushes the seat up, and this one pushes the seat back down. So it has a lot of things that my modern 2009 Nissan Versa doesn't even have, as well as the really plush and comfy couch seats, which are in the back and in the front. So this thing is like riding in luxury all the way through. It has these really cool armrests that you can push up, push down, and get this. You have these cup holders, 1993 luxury right here and they are retractable and even this one has it it's a little bit harder because this one hasn't been used as much but this one comes out super easy really cool feature um, it even has a cigarette uh, lighter and ashtray here which has the original component and also has some change in there the car pays me <laughs> just to drive it uh, the radio is a little out of date it has a um, cassette player which is pretty cool and uh, let me fire it up for you real quick. I'll show you some of the cool things here. So the radio still works. When I flick this, you're going to see a thing come out of the front of the car. So let me turn this on for you. Boom. Radio antenna retracts. This thing has some good sound. Right now it's a little staticky, but the radio does work really well. And when I turn it off, it goes back down so that's really cool it has a, a bass meter a treble meter I can even like change the direction of where the audio comes from so if I want the audio to come from all sides I just put it on this or if I want it to come from the right side of the car put it to that or if I want it on the driver's side I just put it to that so that's really cool um, this thing is such ahead of its time it has a digital dashboard all the gauges are digital including the speedometer, which from its age, this thing is 30 years old, so some of the lights don't work fully, but I'm going to get those fixed as well, but as you can see you have the the temperature gauge, the battery gauge, the fuel gauge, and the oil gauge as well. They're all digital. It has a uh, stick kind of shifter. It's, a, it's an automatic, so that's really nice. It also has a light the light is this little knob here. So what I do to turn on the light is I pull it out and that turns on the light and I can push it down to turn it off. So that is a little bit of this cool, cool interior. This thing is so comfy, like sitting in it, I could just sit here all day. Honestly, it's like a sofa on wheels. The interior was in pristine condition. There's just a couple things that we had to put into it. We have these little lights here that you can't can't see with me sitting here, but each of the doors has one of these. This light cover was popped off and under the seat, so thankfully I had this. Some of these trims are coming off, like right here, this one's trying to peel off, and the one in the back seat 
on this door there is off, but that one's in the trunk. So we do have that. Other than that, all the interior was in good condition, just a little dirty. We vacuumed the, the, the seats and we just started going to shampoo it because the car still smells like it sat for a little while. Um, so yeah, we're going to shampoo that to get rid of the smell. Another cool thing this car has that isn't quite working right now is this little uh, display up here. It's supposed to tell you the time, the temperature outside, the fuel percentage, info. I don't know what all this stuff does yet. It doesn't work. I need to take a look at the fuses and see if a fuse might be the problem and might be able to get that back up. Um, this thing has a really cool glove box as well. Uh, nice and little spacious. It's not too big. And as of right now, this is the only way that I can open the trunk is this yellow button down here. So I hit that and it opens up the trunk. That's a tour of the interior, and I want to show you guys the trunk to complete this tour. So, come with me. So I kind of already showed you guys the trunk when I did my initial walk around the car, but this is how I would normally open the trunk if I could. This thing moves and there's a little lock there. Um, my cousin broke a key deep in the lock, and so we can't use a key back here. So. The only way to open it is from the glove box at the moment, but I'm going to get that fixed so we can open it from there. And when we open this thing up, you can see it's got a decent amount of room for a 1993 car. Um, you see all Katie's stuff back here, our, our water bottles from when we film these videos. We also have a lot of car essentials that were left in the car for me when I bought it. Some oil, some funnels, um, some ice scrapers, washer fluid. As well as a fun little thing here, a cast of some feet, which I don't know whose feet these are, but they're great. So that, that was left for me. Um, back here, this thing you can pull away, and behind this is the spare tire and the jack. I'm not going to pull it out right now because it's a pain to put it back in, and we didn't even put it back in right because it was out when we got it, so it kind of lost its form for however long it was out. But what I really want to show you about the trunk is this cool feature that this 1993 car has. When you shut this, it's going to automatically close itself. Ready? You see that? How cool is that? This car is just so cool. I love it. I can't believe this is my car. I've shown you everything on the exterior and interior. I think it's time that we take this on a little joy ride together. What do you think? Come along. Remember how I told you the engine sounded really good for this being 30 years old? You're about to find out. Watch this. Oh yeah, let's take this thing for a spin.
Man, what a smooth ride. Thanks for coming along with me on my tour of my brand new old 1993 Chrysler New Yorker 5th Avenue. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see what this car looks like after we get it all refurbished and looking spiffy, please subscribe to the channel. On my channel, you can also find a lot of other content, such as skits, reviews, and story times, and I got a lot more stuff coming, so you don't want to miss that, so please subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment about a car that you guys had that you really liked, and maybe some of the cool features it had. Or just a general comment. It definitely helps boost us in the algorithm and gets us out there more. Uh, until then, this is pretty much going to wrap up this video. So, like I said, check us out on all that. Follow us on our social medias. And until next time, this has been Tanner, and you have been watching Tanner's Tales. Thanks a lot for your support, guys.